Hi. My hat. Where's my hat? Mr. Pig. Did you get it? See if you can look right there. Welcome to the Holy Health Cooking Show. There we go. Where we're going to show you how to cook food. What are we cooking today? Today we're getting some chicken breast prepped, sauteing that in a pan, green beans, five or six different mushrooms from the same guy we used last time, rice, two different kinds of rice. So is this a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner? We ate it for breakfast. We did. Um, probably more of a lunch and dinner meal for most people. Uh, most people don't usually eat rice for breakfast, chicken for breakfast. You gotta be pretty, you know, holy health to eat rice and chicken and green beans for breakfast. That's right. So yeah. if you're looking for a breakfast recipe, you can check the description down below and look at last week's tutorial. So I hope you enjoy, so let's check it out. We got some GMO, non-organic chicken breast, garlic, shallots, herbs, rice blend here, wild rice, mushrooms again, five or six different mushrooms, green beans, these are already blanched, Great thing about cooking rice is that usually wherever you buy the rice, on the package is the cooking instructions. I have a picture of it on my phone. Boil two cups rice in four cups water, and then stir, cover, reduce heat, low, and simmer for 30 minutes. This is a one to two ratio. I got one cup of rice, so that means I need two cups of water. I got my two cups of water here. I already got it ready to go. You can rinse your rice. You should always rinse your rice. We're not gonna do that today because <laughs> Just because. So what what are we cooking this at? We gotta get it to a boil. I'm gonna put it on pretty high. Wait for it to boil. Once it boils, then we're gonna reduce the heat down to a simmer, give it a stir, and then we continue to monitor the water levels. Water for the wild rice. So this stuff, super hard. It absorbs a lot of water. Two cups of rice to five cups of water. That's one cup of rice to two and a half cups of water. Pretty amazing that this rice will eventually absorb all of that water. I wanna get it to a boil, so I'm gonna put it on high. Just kinda wait till it gets to a boil. What's next? We're gonna prep this chicken. Since we have the nice, fat, girthy GMO chicken breasts, they're super hard to well, I wouldn't say they're super hard, but people would assume like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna cook this thing? It's huge. Look how thick that is. That's really thick. Inch and a half. Thick with two C's for sure. Yeah, if you throw this in the oven, just like it is, it's gonna take forever to cook and you're probably gonna overcook it. But at the same time, the center of it is probably not gonna be cooked. The story of my life, that's my life. Yeah, so people get all bent out of shape and they're like, oh, I can't cook chicken. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. Don't do that. Do this. Do this. We're gonna fillet this chicken. But ideally, you wanna have like a longer knife, like a chef knife. This has some curvature to it. We're gonna be cutting through the chicken like this. We're dealing with raw meat here. So we wanna keep everything contained on my cutting board so I don't flop stuff everywhere. Cause if you do, you probably wanna wipe that up so you don't contaminate your whole chicken. Kitchen, not chicken. <laughs> so if you look here, this piece over here is the tenderloin. See how it's separated right there? And this big piece is your breast. We separate that, so we cut that, cut that off. We got a tenderloin and a chicken breast. So you wanna get nice pressure on top of that. Don't be afraid if you're gonna cut your hand cause you probably won't. Find the center of the breast, keep a nice level knife, keep cutting through, nice pressure with your hand down, and make Beautiful. your way all the way to the end. Wow, and it's great. Pretty decent, pretty decent. So now I got a thinner piece of meat that'll cook way easier, especially if you're gonna roast it. Got a nice boil going, and now I'm gonna turn it down to the like, a medium, a little bit less than medium. Then we cover it again? Yes. We'll check this guy. Not quite boiling yet. We're going to uh, cook it like stir fry with all of our other ingredients here. I'm gonna cube it up into like even sized pieces so that way they all cook relatively the same in our pan. You wanna try to get nice flat pieces. So it's all about how you cut it. Okay. Okay. If you get a look here down at the breast, a good close up here. Close up of the breast, so, got it. So I'm going to cut it on a bias, an angle. Why are we cutting it on an angle? Because that's going to help keep it flat. Again, I'm going to cut this on a bias. Now it's flatter. Okay. 
What's happening over here? We got some hot water. That's what we call a rolling boil. Cause she's just a rolling. Nice and low. Just another quick little tip on chicken breast. Just like a steak, you find the grain of the chicken like the breast. So the, the grain is traveling this direction. So you want to cut like that against the grain. It'll be perpendicular, not parallel with the grain. Gotcha. I, uh, washing my hands. We got a nice, um, the infamous Dawn four times four power hormone disrupting soap. You'll be clean with that and, for sure. Uh, I'm going to get all those nasty germs off my hands. Germs are bad. Germs aren't the enemy. I'm just being sarcastic. They're our friends. Germs and microbes. That's what keep us going. They get a bad rap, you know. So we've chosen to go off course. We're going off the rails. What are we doing? We got our infamous um, inflammatory butter. Um, not organic. I feel inflamed already Stay too. Up, gonna die. I'm not over butter. it from last week actually. Still recovering. Um. So in our video last week, you can learn all about how to crack and cook eggs. Plastic. So you're starting the rice process. What is the rice process? I learned this from Chef Zach. Uh, Where does Chef Zach chef at? He chefs at Zach's restaurant. Okay. Whenever he makes his rice blend for the restaurant, so he cooks his rice. We're going to cook in this pan our seasonings for the rice. Lots of butter, liberal amount of butter. Very liberal. Okay. Like, almost authoritarian leftist, like that's how much Almost, butter. I voted for Joe Biden liberal? It's, as extreme as it gets. Okay. That's how much butter. Okay. Okay. Add your garlic shallots and herbs. Have whole garlic, herbs, basil, parsley, oregano. So shallots are a type of onion. I'm seasoning this with lots of salt because I'm putting this into my rice blend. I'm very authoritarian leftist on the salt. Same thing with the pepper. Appetizer. Mmm. <laughs> I need a chair. I need to sit down. <laughs> you want to split the yolk? Run everywhere. Oh, we can do it. I didn't do it the same time. That's love. Sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking to me over here. Okay, what's it saying? Uh, I'm out of water. I need to just sit and steam. Okay. I'm gonna create a safe space for the rice. Are you heating up the pan with I'm your hotness? Five hours later. I got coconut oil in this pan here. Okay. So garlic, shallots, herbs, boom. Uh, my trifecta in my pan is talking to me, so give it a listen. What's it say? It says, I need chicken. Plop it right in there. Plop. So each piece of chicken, try to get it flat on its belly. I'm gonna play with all these pieces that I made. Play with my meat. Oh yeah. Honk honk. I'm gonna use tongs to get in here and flip my chicken. Flip every individual piece of chicken. She's flipped. Our rice is done, so we can do our little tester, see if there's any water in here. And it looks like we are dry as a bone. Not a burn in sight. Whew. Not a burn in sight. I'm gonna pop that guy in there. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. Our garlic shallots herb seasoning. Let's throw that in there. Oh, I'm starting to smell it. And we're back to the chicken. So I'm gonna crank my heat up. I'm gonna put it on high heat, okay? If you watched last week's video, we're gonna deglaze the pan. I'm gonna get this pan super, super hot. So I'm mixing things together. We're cooking out all the liquid. Add liquid in. Gonna go more salt. I'm gonna throw in some crazy seasoning in there. What do we got? Let's get wild and crazy on oh this God, God. Thursday. I found some Zach's Smoky Coffee Rub. Go to bluespillers.com and get some spices. Ingredients, we got basil, oregano, parsley, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, paprika, and coffee. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Give our stir fry a little bit of seasoning. And I'm gonna toss it in. Taste tester. What do you think? 
I mean, I could eat the whole bowl, honestly. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. We're done. Done. Now we can eat. We can eat. We'll plate it up. We're gonna eat. We got a lot left. So one cup of each probably yields. So there's probably one and a half servings, one and a half servings. Three in here still. So what's that? Three plus one and a half plus one and a half is seven? Seven or eight? Six. Probably, we'd probably say eight. Probably eight servings of rice from Three plus one. two cups. Meal Six. prepping. Oh, yeah, I gotta get lots of chicken. Oh, I need some protein. I worked out. Today. Oh, okay. Um, did some some traditional exercises that I don't usually do. It's usually my Thursday. Just do some, you know, traditional gym stuff, gym workouts. Yeah, I gotta get lots of protein afterwards. I had a protein shake already. And we're done. Here you go. Thank honey you so boo much. Hello. Hello. Actually, this is goodbye. It is. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything to say? I don't know. I wasn't prepared. Okay, let's try again. We do. Regroup. This is an outro. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. <gasps> Go ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week and see what we're doing. Because we don't know. <laughs> Actually, we do know. Third time's a charm. We'll try again. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe down below. What are we doing next week? We're going to make a little snack next week. So tune in and find out what it is.